My name is Li Zhen. I come from China. My name is Elsana Salem. I am from Lagia village. My name is Regina Levakov, and I come from Brazil. Uh, my name is Mikhail Brook. Uh, I am from Moscow. People from near and far shaping their future at Ben Gurion University. My name is Daniel Ornstein, and I made Aliyah from the United States. Ben Gurion University of the Negev, helping shape the way we live. A unique academic institution that seeks to influence its surroundings. A meeting ground for students, scholars, and researchers, new immigrants, and veteran Israelis, offering a unique educational experience for overseas students. A practical research center that interacts with scientists and industries around the world with a worldwide reputation for achievement. Ben Gurion University fosters academic excellence. It emphasizes scholarship and honors achievement. The university is committed to improving the way we live, solving the problems that afflict us. It encourages new breakthroughs in medicine, life sciences, and allied disciplines, seeking to make a difference. Known around the world for its pioneering work in desert research, the university is a vital resource center for other nations battling to hold back the shifting sands while learning to reap their benefits. Ben Gurion University is building for the future. The Kreitman's Latovsky Classroom Building to accommodate an ever-growing university population. An expanded Jacqueline Ann Ayrton Sports Complex, offering recreation and diversion to the university community. Ben Gurion University of the Negev is focused on the future. Unique colors for makeup, made from algae, the foundation for new natural products. Professor Shoshana Arad has taken algae research in surprising new directions. Aided by the Negev's unique climate, her work has earned the university an international reputation in this innovative field. Algae are plants, they are primitive lower plants that are known to accumulate various biochemicals, especially pigments. The main importance is the beta carotene, and beta carotene is known lately in the health food market mainly as preventing cancer activities. University research is revealing new resources for the pharmaceutical industry, including a new antiviral treatment. It is uncovering renewable sources of raw materials and energy. At the same time, it's spurring the growth of local industry. We see the world switching from synthetic to natural materials. The university is a catalyst for change. Professor Mordechai Hershkovitz's work in heterogeneous catalysts with important practical applications has attracted the attention of the U.S. Commerce Department, which awarded him sizable grants. Heterogeneous catalysts are weapons in the fight against environmental damage, expected to play an ever-increasing role in industry. We develop critical technologies that are required in the chemical and petrochemical industry. Specifically, what you see right here, what we're doing at, right at this moment, we take liquid that contains a high concentration of sulfur, and we remove the sulfur inside here. And as you probably know, due to environmental constraints, you have to remove more and more sulfur from the fuel in order to avoid emission to, to air. By the year 2000, this work could generate an annual market of $8 billion. From science to the spirit, this university on the desert's edge fosters human creativity. With a humanities and social sciences faculty offering courses that range from Middle East studies to creative writing, taught by award-winning authors like Aaron Appelfeld and Amos Rolls. 
a creative synthesis of efforts and ideas and the belief that the whole would be greater than the sum total of its parts led the university to an innovative decision. We're going to take all of the groups which are now spread over three or four faculties and institutes and put them under a single organizational roof and we're going to be close together. This will enable us to strengthen our teaching programs and unify them. We'll be able to set up various research facilities, equip them with up-to-date equipment and keep it up-to-date because we'll have the resources to do it and have an intellectual atmosphere which will make this a really exciting place to be. The Ben Gurion University environment stimulates the search for understanding. One of the greatest challenges facing 21st century science and especially medical science is understanding how the brain does the marvelous things that it does. What we're looking at here is the electrical activity of a single neuron in the brain of an epileptic rat. Professor Michael Gutnick's advanced neurophysiology research holds the promise of new treatments for diseases like epilepsy and Parkinson's. It's the result of fruitful collaboration with neuroanatomist Professor Yisrael White, known for his pioneering work in 3D nerve cell reconstruction. We're looking at the electrical connections that bind nerve cells in the brain into functional groups. Uh, what we're able to do is to take single sections from the electron microscope, a series of single sections, pile them up one on top of the other to make a three-dimensional computer reconstruction and plot on the surface of this reconstruction the location of all the electrical connections. When we combine these studies with uh, physiological recording, we begin to understand how the different circuits in the brain interact to give us behavior, different human behaviors. Food for thought. And some innovative thinking about food at the Institute for Agriculture and Applied Biology. We are here in a solar greenhouse. It's a greenhouse in which we are able to utilize economically solar energy to grow out of season melons. Uh, these melons now we can grow all through the winter and export it to Europe with a very high price. This technology can also help our neighbors which face the same problems. And this is a very important contribution to the economy and the well-being of our neighbors. Beyond the classroom and the laboratory, the university plays an important role in the search for regional understanding. My name is Fatima. I come from Morocco. I work in projects between states, Israel and Morocco. They sent me here in order to have training and to get experience in tissue culture. Hosting scientists and researchers from around the world, Ben Gurion University forges links with a wide range of academic institutions, promoting the betterment of life everywhere. My name is Tian Donghua. I come from China. When I graduate with my PhD, the education I received here will benefit the land of my birth. A vision of peace and the dream of a desert blooming with new life. They inspired Israel's first Prime Minister, David Ben-Gurion, buried at stable care in the Negev. The university's Blaustein Institute for Desert Research pursues Ben-Gurion's goals, but its influence spreads far beyond Israel's borders. Its international reputation for innovation and excellence attracts ever-growing numbers of students and researchers from around the world. They gather here to take part in projects aimed at developing arid zones. This institute, I believe, carries uh, a special uh, importance because the arid regions in the world uh, will assume a much greater significance for human settlement than they have today. And this is one reason why this institute could contribute so much, both for Israel and the entire arid world. Year-round sunshine, the Negev's most abundant natural resource. The university's National Solar Energy Center investigates innovative ways of turning it into clean energy at affordable prices. Ben Gurion University's Desert Ecology Research Program aims at halting the advance of the world's deserts by creating outposts of green in the wilderness. As you can see, we can stop the leakage and collect the water and the nutrients from the area by building this mound. This will improve the area by increasing the productivity and the diversity. 
In the future, man must learn to coexist with the harshest of climes. Desert agriculture research helps create new sources of life in places once considered uninhabitable. In this project, we use runoff water, flood water, to produce fodder and firewood in very dry zones. Uh, these techniques are being presently uh, implemented in areas in Africa, India, and Kazakhstan. The importance of these techniques for the third world are not only in the present, but also in the future, when the importance of settling the desert will become more and more relevant to the development of the whole uh, community. They are the seeds of the future, young people searching for their place in the world. Ben Gurion University is committed to their well-being. At Havayeda, thousands of Negev school children, Jews and Arabs, new immigrants and veteran Israelis, take part in innovative educational programs, tutored by university students. This work gives me plenty of satisfaction. It's scientific, completely different from my normal work in the humanities and it provides a significant scholarship. In a variety of ways, Ben Gurion University reaches out to its community and its nation, redoubling its involvement, influencing the shape of tomorrow. What we see here at this Chavayeda is a marvelous example how children and adults interact around scientific exhibits. And we see it as a model how to build at Ben Gurion University a larger exploratorium which will be unique in the way that children will interact with exhibits, will build exhibits, and will learn while playing and building about scientific principles in unique ways which are not existing in any other children's museum. People, ideas, possibilities, Throughout history, they've fueled the development of our world. Ben Gurion University is translating the lessons of the past into a vision of tomorrow, interacting dynamically with its surroundings, pooling the talents of innovative men and women in the search for something better, building for the future. Because the future is now. This is Ben Gurion University of the Negev preparing to meet the 21st century. We are leading the world's struggle to reclaim the desert. We are creating new and exciting scientific relationships with our Arab neighbors. We are strengthening and building unique centers of academic excellence. We are leading the absorption of immigrant students and faculty, and we are reaching to the Negev community. Our future is now, and in spite of so many obstacles, it looks brighter than ever. Together, all of us at Ben Gurion University, with our unique and devoted supporters from all over the world, are indeed fulfilling today David Ben Gurion's prophecy. <laughs>